Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Mr. KB, and it is September 14th, 2017. And today I bring you an unboxing. And you might hear some tuba play in the background because my kid is practicing the tuba. Yes, my son plays the tuba. <laughs> but it's all good, though. So, this unboxing video will be for Jul September's, July's, August. One the, the latest Wizarding World box from Loot Crate. I forgot completely what the theme is, and I think a responsible unboxer type of dude would have actually figured it out so he can actually talk about it. But you know what? There's a sticker that looks like a like a lock to a trunk, which is called the trunk box, and so I find out from the brochure what it actually is. Um this I buy because wifey likes it. This is a Slytherin selection. Uh, the last two boxes that I've unboxed, the Slytherin selection actually didn't do anything. Um, so we're hoping that this one probably does, but we're not sure. Let's get into the box. So opening up the box, sorry for the lighting, because as I told you guys, oh, that's... All right, so uh, I will flip the box over in a little bit, because the actual, the top of it actually looks pretty nice. And just looking at this right now, let's see what we got here. We got this a stationary set. All right, cool. Actually, you know what? The lighting is not that bad. All right, cool. So this is a stationary set. It looks like we have. It's a box within the box. Box exception. It says office stationary set. Set includes folio, sticky notes, two paper clips, and a list pad. So I'm assuming those are the paper clips. Uh, these are the sticky notes. The the notepad and then the folio inside does it have a it has a sticker why do they put stickers when the box is inside the box stuff it's not like i can actually edit the video either right but i'm just lazy guys i'm sorry the last couple of years my editing skills have become somewhat nonchalant and just lazy i'll just actually record a video and just post it just for the sake of like not wanting to <laughs> do any more work all right, so this is Mac USA. It looks like this is the file. So my taking from this is, since it says Mac USA, it's magic. the the magic the the magic minist the Ministry of Magic in the United States. So I'm gonna assume this is themed towards the um, oh the, the the beast one, scary beast and horror. <laughs> You know, the latest movie. All right, so this is the folio. It's just a regular fold folder. It's blank on the inside. It's printed on the outside. Uh, the notepad, the list pad. It's about maybe 50 sheets. Looks nice, I guess. And the paper clips. Paper clips are paper clips. All right, they're not bad, actually. They don't easily bend in my hand. The tips are pointy enough where you can shank somebody in the eye bam just all right <laughs> and the clips are not bad cool i mean i'm pretty sure if you bend it hard enough it'll break but and then the sticky pads are actually okay so it's the magical can you guys actually see that i'm sorry it's a uh, like a little magic meter okay that's not bad it's not bad i mean it's an okay set i mean you know you got a what the hell was the name of Myst, mystical beast wonderful beast something something beast and where to find them <laughs> i don't remember guys and then we have it looks like this other actually selection actually did make one so this is the box is honey dukes and i believe this is also from the land uh the mystical beast movie I'm going to piss everybody off right now. The one with Johnny Depp. <laughs> People were so salty that Johnny Depp was in the movie. It was kind of funny to see, actually. Why is Johnny Depp in the movie, man? He's freaking overrated. He's a piece of garbage. Ugh. Whatever, man. Somebody has to make money. You know what? Oh. I think these... Are these actual candies? Oh, no. They're plastic. They're rubber. They're little, they look like actual little erasers. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're like erasers or like a rubber set. This one actually looks pretty cool. It looks like a calavera. Mexican Day of the Dead. Calavera skull. This is actually pretty cool. Y tenemos una rana. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Si no sanarás hoy, sanarás mañana. Doesn't translate in English. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it's like one of those like little leapy frog things that Ron loses in the first movie. Or no, Harry loses in the first movie. Jumps out the window. Well, that's, that's actually not a bad. That's a that's a pretty nice looking set. I do like that. And then it says Honey Dukes on top. It says, Oh, includes four erasers: chocolate frog, sugar skull, jelly slug. And the Cal, um, Calderon cake, not edible, not consumable. Which means I just want to take a bite of it. Tell me it can't do something. Damn you, sir! And it looks like this is. Oh no, there's still one more item. What's? I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna. I mean, we already know what that is. So, but what is this? Oh, it's one of those. Hey, you know what? The last one had a pin too, and I ended up liking that one a lot. So this is another pen. This is Harry Potter one pen. Oh, that's so fucking sick. That is sick. And like, it's like the last one has that weight. See, like, I don't know why, like the last, like that's the actual pen itself. And it feels nice. Has a good weight to it. This is the handle. And it feels really, okay, so this is Potter's. I think last month or the the previous box was um what's the dude's name fucking snapes i think it was snapes pen i can't remember though but i do remember there was one it was all black this is harry potter's that is actually pretty fucking legit i i like the pens the pens tend to be my, my favorite part of these boxes so far but all right cool and then I think this is the last thing on oh, this. Oh, here we go. I'll leave that. You know what that is. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. This is another thing that's been kind of common in these boxes. These these little pins from Harry Potter from the boxes themselves. The pins have so far been pretty nice, actually. Let's see what this pin is. There's another double studded one. Let me take it out of the plastic so we don't get all this glare. I think. Let's open up. Let's open up. Let's open up. Da, 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 da. Oh, that looks nice too. Let's see if we can get some more detail on that. I swear, guys, I'm trying to get a new camera so I can get some better light. Like, so, like, the lens gives me actually proper lighting. I'm trying to see if I can get that's probably as good as I can get it. Let me see. Again. No, that's not that's gonna make it worse, actually. Let's see if I, if I do this. Does it actually give me a little brightness to it? Oh, a little brighter, but now it's just all noisy. All right. Uh, like right there. I don't know. I feel like I need to post a picture of this somewhere. But anyway, it's a little pin. And it looks like it has a basilisk? No. I honestly don't know what it's from. But it looks pretty sick. It's a lock and medallion. Does it have a description somewhere? Harry Potter, blah, 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 blah. No. And it's made from New York, New York. Jack. Jack Mail Jewelry Incorporated, jackmail.com, 135 or 1385 Broadway, New York, New York, 10018. All right, cool. You know what? That's not going to change. But I, w I wish I had a better camera, guys. I apologize. Just know that the pin actually looks pretty nice. All right, I apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of getting a new camera. Sorry. Got to bring up my, my production here. I'm sorry. And then the last thing. Boom. So, it actually didn't matter this box. This is a Slytherin scarf. It's another Loot Crate exclusive. And this is, I can't even say it's going to be like wifey's favorite thing. Oh, you know what? Let me take off the that right light nonsense. Uh, so unprofessional. I'm over here adjusting settings and doing nonsense. But yeah, look, that is a Slytherin. That is a Slytherin badge. It's plastic. Feels nice though. And then, oh, but it's all tied up in the middle. I don't like that they did that, but it looks like it's a pretty long damn scarf. I mean, dude, like, here are the two ends, right? These are the two ends. And then it has a fold on top. So this would probably be like the middle fold. And it's like four layers. This 
this could easily be like a six foot scarf. That is pretty crazy. Okay, cool. It's actually really, really nice. All right, now let's look in here. What is this? Oh, that's right. I gotta show you the inside of the box because it's a, it's a trunk. I completely forgot. It's a trunk. I don't know what. I don't even know what the theme is, but I forgot. I gotta show you guys inside of the box because it has a pretty cool logo. And I don't even think you. Can, oh, there you go. See, yeah. See, that's like the logo. That's like the inside of the box. It's like Loot Crates have done this where they theme. There goes a towel. They theme the inside of their boxes to fit, or they print the inside of the boxes to fit like a certain theme. And it has a luggage sticker, and this is like the inside of the luggage. And it, it was really nice. I, I thought it was like kind of cool the way they did that. And I'm sorry it's all messy in my desk. I just got home from work. I'm just trying to unbox and just try to talk to you people because I like you guys, man. I really do like you guys. Love you guys a lot. You guys have been with me forever. Forever and ever. La 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 la. Okay. <laughs> uh, magical must haves. Jeez, man. Right there, see, it says, whether you're headed back to Hogwarts for the new school year full of adventure or in need of organizing your desk at the at Mac USA, you'll need to equip yourself with some essentials only found in the Wizarding World. Don't worry, this crate has you covered. So these are all the items inside. Number one is a Hogwarts house scarf. Okay, we got that. We got the Slytherin one because that's the one we chose, which is cool. And then number two, which is the pin, the pin is the Salazar Slytherin Locket Enamel Pin. Okay, it's one of the Horcruxes, it looks like. Next, the next is our Horcrux Pin Series. This is the safest way to wear this particularly nasty bit of jewelry. All right, cool. And then number three was, yeah, the Honey Duke's Eraser Set. Okay, we got that. The Harry Potter's Wand Pin, which I liked a lot. Like, that's like my favorite thing. And then we have the little booklet and stuff. And a little light on stuff, but it's all exclusive, it looks like. Exclusive items only available here. And again, it's not the quality. I mean, sorry, it's not the quantity of the items, but it's the quality of the items. And you know what I did like? Is they didn't throw in that stupid piece of paper that's like, hey, you know, you can buy all this other stuff from Loot Crate. I like how it's just specific to like the letter and what's in the box and what I can actually do with the actual box. That's it. Simple. Cuts on on paper waste. I'm just going to throw away anyways. All right, cool. So we got through everything. Sorry, it's been slow. You know how we do this. We got to break this down to what it means to me. <laughs> All right, so we got the folio paper set. To be honest, the weakest item in the box is this. I I could do without it. I don't really care for it. If I saw it just randomly somewhere, I'd be like, uh, what the hell is it? <sighs> it's special printed paper. What do I want to do with it? And you know, honestly, man, if it was over like five bucks, I probably wouldn't get it. But I know it's not that. I'm going to break it down to what it possibly costs. I'm going to give it a price of like seven dollars. So that's seven bucks right there. All right. Let's see. Then we got this. We got the pin. We got the pin. Right, right, right. We got the pin, the Horcrux pin. Salazar. I wonder if Gryffindor and all the other ones got. Maybe not because it looks like that paper is actually printed. So I think everybody got this pin. All right, cool. So we got the size. It's a really nice pen. It has nice weight to it. it. I like the way it's printed. It's kind of 3D. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, see how it's like it elevates just a little bit, almost like the old jewelry. So it elevates a little bit. So it has a little bit of an elevation. It looks really nice. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for the pin. All right, so we got seventeen right there. Uh, what else did we get? We got the papers. We got oh the eraser set. I did like the eraser set. All right, so then we got the eraser set. These are nice erasers. I mean, honestly, these are really, really nice erasers. If I found the set, I'd go between 10 baseline to about maybe 15 at the top end. But the 15, I don't think I'd buy it. So I'm going I'm to break it down in the middle. I'm going to put it to its favor. We're going to call it 13 bucks for the eraser. So we got 13 right here, all right? So what are we at now? We got 13 for that. We got 10 for the pen. We got 7 for this little paper folio set. So that's 30 bucks right there. All right, so the box, I believe, cost me 35 So we're already, like, 95% of the way there. And then the, 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 the pen. The pen. I love the pen. 
something about the pens, they feel nice. You know what? I don't even know how they write, but I do like the pen. So the pen, let's see. I like the way, I like the detail. I like the way it even feels in your hand when you want to use it kind of like a wand, like you could if you had the power, you know what I'm saying? I want that cut out, bro. But, mm, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. Baseline, I think it would be like $10, and then it's going to be like 15 the top end. So I'll break it again in its favor, 13 bucks right there. So we got $43 right there on things that we don't even, you know what I mean? Like, this is just, like, stuff that you would buy. Like, you would pick up, like, oh, that's cool. And then we got the actual scarf. Now, the scarf is actually really nice. It feels, it's really soft. Like, it's super soft. It feels really nicely made. Even like this, like stacked up, like you can feel some thickness, like a comfortable blanket type of thing. So like it's it's a really nice scarf. And uh, with scarves, I don't know, because I know they can get expensive, especially like ones like this. Um, I would say 15 on the low end, maybe 25 in the high end, I'm guessing here or there. So uh, I don't think I've ever rated anything this high before, but easily. I think this kind of takes the place of a shirt. But with a little bit more craftsmanship and with the with the extra care, because it is a scarf, I'm gonna give it 20. So we got 20 bucks right there. So it's 20, 13, 13. That's 46. That already covers my box. 10 for the 10 for the pin, and then seven for the for the little folio set. So let me play this back because I just confused myself in all the prices. <laughs> so we got seven, 13, 20. Uh, 13, 33, then we got the pen, 10, 43, does that sound right? I don't even know where I did it, then we got 20, we got 63 bucks right there. I'm, I'm going to value this box at 50, at $63, 63 bucks, that sounds about right, 63 bucks, and I paid what for it, 35? So far, out of the three boxes that I've gotten, this has been my actual favorite my favorite box to unbox with the quality of items because I genuinely like everything that's in the box except for like the stationary set. I think the stationary set is kind of trash, but they included it, so I have to give it a price. I don't actually like the stationary set, but everything else, the scarf, the pin, the pen, the eraser sets, this this honestly has been like the my like my favorite box to actually unbox. But yeah, so that's it. I don't know if I'm gonna get the next one because money is tight. The boy is costing me a lot of money with golf lessons and tubas and all the other stuff. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. This is Mr. KB, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.